Hello again, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful summer so far. I'm Megan McCoy -No with Straight Talk Alert at NRECA, and we want to let you know this month that lighting is changing. We want to make sure you don't leave your members in the dark. Starting in January, traditional incandescent bulbs must be at least 28% more efficient, but there are a lot of alternatives out there, including halogen incandescents, LEDs, and of course, CFLs. Uh, you can see some of the changes already. Uh, this is a CFL bulb from GE, and people didn't like the swirly bulb design, so GE has started putting covers on some of their CFLs to kind of diffuse the light and make it look more like a traditional or a classic bulb. You can also see, and we have this art for you, you can see some new labeling. This is going to be required to be on all light bulbs starting in January 2011 or 2012. And this will let you see the brightness of the bulb, the lumens, let's see if you can see that, the lumens, and the annual energy cost, which is a great comparison. The FTC is asking that you encourage your members to shop for lumens, not watts. It's actually kind of silly for folks to shop for how much energy they want something to use versus the amount of light it gives off. We're providing a statewide exclusive feature beyond swirly bulbs, exploring the federal changes spurring new lighting options for residential consumers. CRN's Consumer Product Review, Shedding Light on Energy Savings, gets more in-depth on the pros and cons of bulb technologies. For distribution co-ops, we had a lot of fun with the leadership column. If you're not baking, you're wasting energy. If you think about it, the old Easy Bake ovens, uh, they used a 100 watt incandescent light bulb. Well, 90% of the energy that is used for that bulb is wasted as heat. We've got some great energy efficiency articles which explain how the incandescent bulb has been reinvented and encourage members to shop for lumens, not watts. Since CFLs are the most common lighting alternative, we provide a graphic that compares mercury content of common items while a technology article dispels common CFL myths. Several graphics, including a flyer from the Federal Trade Commission, help you talk about all these lighting changes. And this month, as a bonus, we have a way for you to get social about lighting. We have a lot of suggested tweets for you to use, Facebook posts, even a blog post about this. It's a condensed version of our editorial if you're not baking, you're wasting energy. And last but not least, we have really bulked up our image library, so hopefully you guys will enjoy all of those images from some of the nation's top manufacturers. We're excited about the lighting changes that are coming up and the opportunity that you have to communicate about them with your members. Hope you have a great day.